don't touch it do not touch it Got a message from Amos. Way, I'm coming for your boss. Don't be there when I do. I'd rather not go into unknown territory with an armed killer at my back. Which means we take him here. If it has to be done, I do it. That's it. You have my word. Kill Amos. <clears throat> and I'm... What is it? Oh gosh, stomach's turning. Cross that, I take it. What the fuck? It's like, do you guys remember the labyrinth? Off, how long will I fall? Mm. Rest of your life. Just do fucking slip. Watch your step. I don't like it. Look at it. Just one more it ain't good. We lost 11 thrusters, I burned a ton of power fire on the PDCs, and a bunch of reaction masks trying to control this spin. Bloody RC, sons of bitches, if they have anything else to throw at us, we're sitting ducks. The crew from the Baba Piccola can transit over to us. Cut the tether. No! Let the ship go. We'll see you. No one else dies for this dream. We tried everything. No. Uh-oh. No, we did not. Shit. Alex? No. <laughs> Without the drive to compensate, the kick from the railgun turns it into a big old thruster. And it won't throw us into a spin in the wrong direction. It isn't a gentle push. It'll feel like falling off a cliff. I don't know if the cable can take it. If it don't work, we'll evacuate the barb like Lucia said. But at this point, we got nothing to lose. Go on then. Okay, warn me before you fire. You got it. Tell <laughs> Felsia what we're doing. Whoa. All I know for sure is that this room is the center of the dead spot saw. Just look around for anything seen out of place. I think I got it. Don't keep it to yourself. What's it look like? The eye of an angry god. Hmm? I need to put myself into something physical. You can do that. How do you think I've been turning all this shit on? Hmm? Well, once I'm inside, <clears throat> I'm gonna flip every last switch on the network, okay? I'm gonna connect myself to everything. I'm gonna wake up the whole damn planet, so be ready. And then what, you walk into that? Boom. You came here to die. Ah. Oh. If you can call this living, pal. But hey, I'm gonna take the rest of this place with me, too. And... Maybe a hundred thousand screaming souls finally get some rest. Man. So yeah. I got, ah, ah, Need to talk about that right, kid. Uh. Excluding the case. Ah, fuck! Uh. Man, they really don't want me doing this. I don't have a lot of time. Okay. Go. That. It's mostly intact, and it's mobile. All right, when I take control of it, I need you to guide me as close to this angry God's eye thing as you can get without me touching it, okay? If I go inside without taking everything else with me, we lose. How will I know when you've connected to the rest of the planet? <laughs> You'll know. And that'll fix the ships? I'm ready. Here's hope. I'm ready. This is really the end, isn't it? It is for me. But hey, I'm hoping you make it out okay. Oh, uh, 
There's a glob of blue shit under the decking of the cargo bay. Uh, <laughs> you might want to clean that up. Of course. <laughs> this thing. I should have cleaned that up. Killed the builders, so now we're using their ring gates. Yeah. yeah that could be a problem. You might want to look into that. That's it? Hey, I got you this far, kid. The rest is up to you. Water. Right, it's just water. It doesn't really taste like anything. Not again. We are not using Miller again. Wow. Does it look an eye? Hey, uh, Amos. Where's Holden? Murtry's dealing with him. Fuck off. Don't do this. So. One fucked up day of shitty choices for us both, but afterward, we can walk away from this life forever. Is that the story that Murtry sold you? That's how it is. I told you that I would never lie to you. I'm going after Holden. If you're in my way, I'm going through you. Shit. I can't let you do that. That gave us a little boost. Not enough to stabilize us for long, but I can get a few more shots off before the power runs out. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Holden! Doc? No, but Murtry is coming to kill you. He saw Amos. Is he dead? I don't know. Oh my god. Do not touch that. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Pause. I gotta pause because I got some thoughts and they're distracting me. And if I get them out, then I can concentrate. <clears throat> I thought Amos was gonna shoot Way. I think she catastrophically miscalculated that scenario. Amos's primary loyalties are paramount, and the idea that she presented that she would hurt him in order to profit would override his potential to become loyal to her that was brilliant i'm serious though amos had better not die or i'm gonna lose it i don't think he is but i sometimes get cocky and then i get very upset so <sighs> okay play whoa do touch it. Do not touch it. Oh. Who the fuck are you? Hey! Who the fuck are you? Miller! Hello? <laughs> I'm Elvi. Okoye. Who? What are you? Fuck, lady. I am as fucked. Where the hell's Holden? <laughs> I think he went. Wait, you are Holden's ghost. Mila? Yeah. Oh. oh my god. 
Now it's a little trickier than I thought. Okay. Lady, you're gonna help me. Oh, fuck's sake. Where's Amos? Is he alive? I don't know. He was too hurt to walk and he had a shotgun. Going around him seemed the wiser choice. If he's dead, so are you. <sighs> you piece of shit. You are really Detective Miller from Ceres. Sentient and independent. Well, if not, I'm acing that Turing test. About how far am I from this thing? A few meters, roughly. Move me a little closer. I don't know how fast these locals are going to react when they figure out what I'm doing. The locals? Let's just hope you don't meet. Oh my god. You come out here and you think because you're civilized, civilization comes with you. Throw your gun down. All those post offices and railroads and jails cost thousands of lives to build. Shoot him. I would just shoot him now. And this is no different. I am the kind of man the frontier needs. You're the kind that comes after my work is done. You should have stayed at home until I built a post office. I met another guy once <laughs> who liked using past genocides to justify his bullshit. You weren't persuaded. A friend of mine shot him in the face. <laughs> No! Is Jim... Is Jim fatally wounded? Holy shit! You won't even have the balls to finish me, will you? I Boy. fucking would. You are first. I'm gonna bring you back to stand trial. And drop you in a cell forever. We call that civilization. I just shot him in the face. Come on, point me at this thing. Go straight ahead. to watch the next one. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch the next one. Oh my shit. Oh my shit. Oh god. Okay, I'm not gonna do... Oh, I'll say I'm not gonna do a massive review and then I'll do a massive review because that is basically what happens every time I say that. Oh my god. Oh 
Okay. That was worth the build up. That was worth the build up. We've got nothing from Earth, nothing from Mars in that episode. This was all Illus and the Rosie and the Barbara Piccola and the Edward Israel. Um, Mertry should be done. Mertry isn't done. Miller should have killed him. Um, Jim should have killed him. Enough with the intra leaving intractable people alive. My approach in that position, in that situation, would have been to cut him off mid sentence and say you're wrong. You're presuming that I don't understand when it is appropriate to kill someone and when it is not inappropriate. This is an appropriate moment to kill someone. Boom, dead, gone, bye. Now we can focus on the primary mission. But you know, I'm just an asshole. I love what is happening with Dr. Okoye because what even if she dies in the course of this process, we've already established through dialogue with Jim that this is like this is the this is her best life. Okoye right now is living her best life. So I'm complete with if she dies, if she becomes a proto miller um in service of the proto molecule moving on okay that's fine i i just i really i'm loving the fact that she is getting to fulfill on that dream of hers i love it i really i can't tell you how excited i'm about that that whole my god the whole sequence of literally from going into that purple shit and the falling with the just sort of frazzly thing that reminded me of tron um and then they get through and there's this walkie thing with all these funny little stairwells and everything that remind, reminded me of um, the labyrinth, the bit where David Bowie's taking the girl up and, you 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 know, a stairwell goes one way and it goes another way. Um, it was just, there were just so many kind of cinematic references going on that were giving me sort of vague feelings of these um, other great moments and... and but yet was better, like it was better than all of them, but it just, oh god, I, oh, I cannot tell you how much I love this episode of television. <laughs> I fucking, the maturity in this program as well is just so, like that scene between Way and Amos, like 9.9 .9 out of 10 shows would have had like, some real some music would have been playing like we'd have been like oh which way are they gonna go you know and it'd have been really and then he'd have had a little tear in his eye or something like that but it's like it was absolutely true to amos's character he was gonna kill her and it was just matter of factly done i told you i would never lie to you this is what is gonna happen if you do this current course and she took that course and he immediately shot her. He didn't even pause. Brilliant. And then it all kicked off. So now he's lost I th at least one finger or potentially a thumb. Like that, he's lost He's lost digits. I didn't say how many, but at least one. Um, and he's stuck in a hallway somewhere. So that's him. Way is dead. The Oh my God, that was it. I was talking about the visions. Then the Miller... Said, I'm going to turn everything on, and he can be cut. So he, he now finds him, he can now animate shit. So he's so he's basically become bits of the artifact, he's put them together into a little creature that can, that can actually walk towards the eye thing. And then I just uh, that gave me little shop of horror vibes, it was just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, and and the the whole planet lighting up. Fuck me. Oh. So now I don't know what to expect in in the last episode. I expect to find out what's going on on Mars. I'd really really like to find out what's going on, on Mars. I'd like to find out what's going on with Ashford and Marco. Um, I'm wondering if we're going to be focusing maybe in the next episode more on those other storylines with like a big finish at illus at the end maybe that's where we find out what happened i've no idea like we could just as easily just start where we stopped so oh my god that is i think that has got to be the most breathless review i have ever done
own anything in my time as a reactor. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to take a short break now and export these files and then I'm going to go into episode 10. Oh my god. For you guys there'll be a bit more of a gap but um oh my god I just love that. I just loved it. And obviously for those of you that are on YouTube now is the time to become a patron. It's www.patreon.com forward slash script tonight and you can watch the season finale reaction in full beginning to end. And if you do it now, you can watch the whole season before you get to episode 10 anyway. But yeah, that was just, oh God, that was the best. I loved it. I fucking love this show. Oh, until the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>